Hey guys as well, got a showdown battle for you today. It's an OU suspect ladder test battle against this guy right here. Um, just doing some suspect test laddering just because I want to play around with it since I'm hoping Greninja gets banned. So I just want to do a little bit of testing in the tier and to see what the environment was like, was like, which I really do like. There are still some standardizations, but the thing is it's a lot better than it was when we had Greninja. So, you know, it's better, but it's going to still need some work. But, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, my team, I guess I'll just quick get into this. My team, uh, it's a team I actually made while Greninja was still around, but it was kind of subpar because the speed tier was so high in general. But now it works better just because everything's a bit slower, but I got enough defensive backbone for the bigger stuff, so I should generally be okay against most stuff. But anyways, quick run through. Uh, Mega Beedrill, uh, Latios, Life Orb with a Defog on it. I got a defensive Scizor, three attacks and Roost, uh... I could have a defog on it, but I felt like Latios would be better for it, and Scizor then just has more versatility. I should put Caldeo. I don't know. I should probably put a Life Orb on it, but eh. I uh, got a defensive Tyranitar. It's invested in defense just because it gets Sandstorm boost anyways. At least I think that's what it is. I don't even remember the spread on this thing, but whatever. It's a T-Tar with Stealth Rocks. Uh, I kind of want Pursuit on it, but I can't fit it on right now because Earthquake is a good move. And then I got a 4 attacking Thunderous, 4th attack being Volt Switch, so... Yeah, it's Life Orbed as well, so I probably don't want Life Orb on Keldeo. But anyways, um, opponent's team, the main things I'm going to have to watch out for on his end are going to be his uh, Bisharp and his Low Pony, just because once my Scizor is gone, uh, Bisharp, well, once Keldeo and Bisharp, or Keldeo and Scizor are gone, Bisharp can easily run through my team, so I just got to make sure I, you know, preserve those well enough and make sure I get enough pressure going in his end, and then the Low Pony... I know Beedrill can kill it when it's about at 80% with a uh, poison jab, so really I just gotta make sure I lay on a little bit of damage really quick, and then that'll be easy enough to deal with hopefully, but you know, I just gotta make sure I keep my momentum going, and if I lose Caldeo or Bishop, I just, or Caldeo or Scizor, I gotta just make sure I keep up my mind games just right so I can deal with a Bisharp, otherwise it's gonna, you know, run through my team, so, you know, I just gotta be careful enough and I should be okay, but leads on his end. It kind of looked like Landorus was going to lead, but at the same time, I felt like something else could potentially lead, so I felt like Keldeo might be the best thing to go off with right away, so that is what I'm going to end up doing. So, let's just get into this. Also, I don't know why Shonen always puts me on the other side, but whatever. But anyways, like I said, going to lead Keldeo. He does not lead off with Landorus. Also, I'm going to do this a little bit slower than I usually do, so if it's too slow, I'm sorry, but I just want to try it a bit slower. But, um, since he does lead off with Landorus, I know for a fact that Earthquake cannot kill me unless he gets a crit. Well, I don't know if he can kill me even with a crit, but I just know I can live it, so I figure I should be safe right now. If he wants to go to anything fast, I can just get an, an overall Icy Wind off, just in case, you know, something weird wants to happen, otherwise I just kill the Landorus, but he goes into Rotom, and I mean, the Icy Wind speed drop doesn't matter, but at the very least, I know I can live a Volt Switch, Volt Switch from prior experience, like... The damage on Keldeo sucks, but I'd rather get more damage on Rotom because getting that out of the way will give me a lot easier of a time against Bisharp and No Pony because all of Scizor a lot healthier. So, yeah, I mean, I kind of need to Keldeo too, but it was a necessary risk. But I uh, Secret Sword of the Rotom, he goes out to Landorus, and I know Scizor can take any hit. If he wants a turn, I should be able to pivot well enough, so I'm not too concerned about it in that regard. And he just goes right for Earthquake, and since it looks like he's scarfed from that damage, I mean, I haven't done anything to him, but at the same time. I mean, looking at his team, it's probably Scarfed, but I figure I can just safely go for a U-turn on whatever he wants to bring in. I was tempted to go for knockoff, but I figured the pivoting would be a lot better, which he goes into Rotom on my U-turn, and I figure at that range, I should be able to take him down with Beedrill, since Beedrill is really powerful. Like, I goddamn love Beedrill, I just wish it wasn't so frail, but you just gotta play it, you know, really conservatively, and it's just really good, but, um... Yeah, I'm able to take down the Rotom. I go into Scizor, which is really bad, but I wanted to just because I need the extra leftovers recovery, just so I was able to work around him a bit better, because otherwise it's going to be just a really awkward situation in general for everything, so yeah, that's what I do, it's just that, but uh, he went into Heatran, obviously I have to switch out, going to Terran and taking a hit, I figured he wasn't going to go for anything except for Stealth Rocks, but I just want to be safe just in case, and... I really wasn't inclined to go for my own rocks, just because it's not going to do too much to him. I don't need to rack up damage as much. Like, I can rack up damage in different ways, but I figured getting more damage off on the obvious landers coming in was more important, because I knew he wasn't going to go into Bisharp, because Earthquake isn't a thing that Tyranitar can do, 
but uh, I just go for Stone Edge. I knew I could live another Earthquake, and I just want to get more damage off because the lower the Lanerus is, is a lot. It's a lot easier to deal with after it's a lot lower. So uh, yeah, I get a substantial amount of damage off. Tyrant Tower lives a good chunk, so I can definitely use it later. But I'm getting on Alanios because yeah, no Life Orb leftovers, so I figure he's just gonna be Scarf. So I can go into my uh, Latios to do whatever I want, but I figured here he was going to switch out, probably into Bisharp or Heatran. I was more thinking Heatran, so that's why I went into Keldeo, but he went into Bisharp anyways, and really right here I just got to hope I can live a Sucker Punch, which I'm not able to, which is good to know that I definitely need more, like I should probably run the calculator to really know, but you know, as of right now I'm just going to go off of, oh, I'm not able to live the hit, so that's, you know, a thing. But Getting going to Scizor right here, I figure I can bait him into going for Sucker Punch, and at the very least get a Roost off just so Scizor has a lot more survivability for later. And since I am Roosting up, I feel like he's going to be inclined to want to switch out, and either way, even if he goes for another Sucker Punch, I'd rather just U-turn anyways than try and Roost stall. So I'm going to U-turn off as he goes into Heatran, and really the best thing I can do right now is go into my Tyranitar, just because it's the best thing I potentially have to take a hit, and it's really the only thing I want to sack dash bring in because I don't want to bring in Beedrill just yet until I've done a little bit more to his team. It's going to be a lot more important if I do that, but uh, yeah, he just protects up as I go for Earthquake. Uh, you know, it's whatever. But now he's going to be inclined to think I'm just going to go for Earthquake. At least I feel like he's going to be thinking that because I have been predicting so far, so he knows I'm kind of in that risk area. So I thought he was going to possibly just or, I thought he was going to predict me to go for Earthquake and just... Or, not Earthquake and stay in, but I go for Stone Edge thinking that he would just switch out predicting Earthquake. So, yeah. The, yeah, I was predicting him to predict my Earthquake, but he goes into Caldeo to take the Stone Edge, which it still does a little bit, but it doesn't do as, you know, that much because it's a resisted Stone Edge and my Tarantar doesn't really have... I don't think it has much attack investment. I think it might have a little bit, but I'm not sure, but... He goes for Seed Sword to Keldeo. I had to go into Latios because it's the best thing I had to take any hit. And uh, right here, I kind of figured Bisharp was coming in. It came in the last time, so I really felt safe going for Hidden Power Fire right there because Heatrain didn't come in before. So I'm going to be more inclined to think he's just going to predict Psyshock or even like a Surf or some weird shit like that. So I just go for Hidden Power Fire and just clean out the Bisharp. So that's huge annoyance out of the way. That gives me a lot more leeway in this game. Like. I actually have a chance to win somewhat, but he goes into the low punny right there. I am in range of Latios dying from rocks, but I'm gonna have to go to Tyranitar because since I'm in that range, he's gonna be more inclined to just go straight for fake out, especially since he doesn't want to risk getting outsped and killed. So I go into Tyranitar knowing he's gonna want to just go for that fake out, and uh, like I said before, I want to rack up a little bit of damage on this thing because then I'll be able to revenge him with uh, Beedrill because I think Beedrill's poison jab does a minimum of like 83%. So I really need to play around that factor, which uh, I just go into Latios to die so I can just rack up more Sandstorm, which is what I do. He's not quite in kill range yet, so I'm going to have to think of something else, and I decide going into Scizor is the best way to do it. Um, and I'm just going to go for, I believe I go just straight for U-turn, because I'm not as concerned as Scizor being as healthy anymore, because, I mean, the low pony is already low enough to where Beedrill is going to be able to clean it out, and if not, I mean... I'm already in a bad situation anyways, so I'm just going to go straight into said Beedrill because it's the safest thing I can do right now. It's really the only thing I can do, but I'm just going to go straight for the Poison Jab, just because even if Heatran wants to come in, I still have the Drill one, and if Lanerus wants to come in, I'd rather just get that out of the way anyways, so he does go into the Heatran, and I guess Drill Run isn't as common on Beedrill, that or he just didn't know Beedrill carries Drill Run, but... I have it, so I take him out. Like, I don't like knockoff as much as Drill Run. Drill Run just does so much more. So I'm able to take out the uh, Heatran with the Drill Run. And now he's going to go to Lanners. I can easily just protect up right here, scout what he's going to go for, which it happens to be the explosion, which is just amazing. Which I understand perfectly why I went for it, because he didn't. Yeah, he didn't see my protect earlier, so I mean, he had no reason to assume I was going to go for anything else, so. You know, if I was going to go out to anything, he might as well let it die so he gets free pivot out to something else, which makes sense, because then he at least still kills something, but that protect on the explosion is just amazing, because that's out of the way, and I don't have to worry about anything anymore. But, uh, he brings in low pony. I just go into Tyranitar essentially to die, because, you know, since I was already protected for the turn, I don't want to risk Beedrill dying right there, so I'm just going to have to let, uh, Tyranitar 
die, but he actually goes for Ice Punch randomly, I guess, hoping it would still kill him just because fuck it. So maybe he'll actually kill the low pony with Tyranitar, and now all he, has, all he has left is Keldeo, which I have Thunderous, I have Beedrill, I mean, it's relatively safe, so he just forfeits up and I get the game, so GG guy. Like, those, that clutch explosion at the end was funny, but like, really what won it for me was me hidden power firing the, uh, the fucking Bisharp. If it wasn't for that, I easily would have probably lost that, but, you know, came in clutch there, and then just me playing that little end game right really did help, plus him not protecting on my draw run was huge, but eh. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to doing any live showdown anytime soon just because i've been noticing i do actually play a lot better when i don't do live showdown and when i have been laddering lately i actually do generally want to ladder so i just haven't been in the mood to record because i just do bad when i record you know worse so i don't know maybe we'll do some in the future but we'll see what happens but for now you know you'll get the good replays out of my laddering sessions so uh yeah that'll be it for this so hope you guys enjoyed such such a blah rank up and sub and later guys